For us, this is the simplest explanation of what Six Sigma is. Six Sigma is like a boat, but this boat is no ordinary boat. This is a fishing vessel. Since it's a fishing vessel, it's a business. Of course, if we talk about business, we're after profits or sales or money. To get sales, we need to hire salespersons. Now, let's say you hire this very enthusiastic guy, this very enthusiastic guy, and then he starts to offer your products and services, and boom, you have your catch, you have your sales. But because of the number one enemy of Six Sigma, the number one enemy of Six Sigma is what we call COPQ. Please pause this video and write this thing down, COPQ. It means cost of poor quality, COPQ. Because of the cost of poor quality, the business will experience three things. Process defects, process delays, and process variation. Because of the three costs of poor quality, process delays, defects, and variations, the business will experience cash leaks. And out goes your cash. If you have process defects, let's say a defect in your invoice or a service defect, the company would need to fix it. If you rework, you spend more time, more money, more resources. And then if you have process variation and process delays, let's say in a day you need to complete or you need to process 10 POs, but it's already 5 p.m. You've only processed 7 POs, then you might say, oh Rex, I need to complete 10 in a day. Therefore, I need to do overtime so that I could catch up. If you do overtime, it means you spend more time, more money, more resources. Now that is the reason why companies start their Lean Six Sigma training programs is for it to identify the real root causes of the problems so it could plug in the cash leaks and the company can maximize its profits. Now, every time I show this example to executive, most of the time they tell me, Oh, Rex, you know, why not focus on getting more sales? Because process defects, process delays, and variations are always present. All organizations, they have that. Why not focus on getting more sales? Like in your example, Rex, cast a bigger net so you get more fish, you get more revenue. Now, of course, getting more sales is good. It's very good. But the problem is, even if you get more sales, if your process remains the same, remains inefficient and defective, it means the more sales you get, the more cash leaks you'll also experience. Therefore, the best thing to do is to attack it both ways. Aim to get more revenue, more sales, and also, by using Lean Six Sigma, reduce the cost of poor quality. Reduce and address your process defects, process delays, and process variations. 